Hey there, I'm Hugo Ferreira from Tech Corner TV and today is Monday. So, like every other Monday, at 8 a.m. GMT time, we have package to open. So, without further delay, let's jump into it. Let's move this out of the way and, okay, this is a, a, good, a good one to start. And let's see what do we have here. Whoa, this took so much time to get here, but so much time, you won't believe it. Uh, how you call it? This is a cable strap that you can uh, cut small pieces and to to tie the cables and cable management and stuff like that it's a very nice product and i truly recommend using this because you have you can cut this in the in whatever size you want yeah this is really nice <laughs> it took so 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 long to get here if you won't believe this then really but yeah i'm thrilled to start managing my cable okay we have here today we have a lot of packets really they are small ones but they are a lot okay connectors if this is really connectors i have to say this is getting out of hand but no uh, these are different kind of connectors yeah, this is for the oscilloscope and multimeter and stuff like that. And yeah, we have here banana plugs. It seems sil uh, it's like rubber, uh, silicon. Yeah, very nice. Really. I have to see how we take this. Very nice quality. It's like silicon. It's plastic probably, but it seems very good. Yeah, I have five of each. Mm, don't know how this how this um, open to to solder here the 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 wire but anyway i will i, I will see that later and i have here something that is to do a little hacking one of the things i want to do is to use uh, the power supply for powering arduinos and stuff like that and i don't have uh, USB connector so I will put one of these in each hand and to be able to connect directly to the power supply so that's why I bought both these uh, right now they are with the alligator uh, clips but yeah the idea is to cut this and to, to solder in each of one a banana plug to connect to the Rigel power supply that I have. Yeah, that's the idea. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I hope so. And I will have them. Uh, well, I bought a female and a, a male, but mainly the female to connect here the, the power cords to power, well, Arduino and other stuff. Okay, that's that's good, that's good. And USB cable. Okay, I ordered a few of them of these cables because of the mics and uh, well, all the stuff needed to to record. But uh, yeah, this is for the Raspberry. And I have here two models. Uh, this one is just for projects to have a, a cutting uh, switch. 
it uses uh, I believe it's three and a half uh, I don't know now or socket and this one is for the raspberry when we want to cut the, the power uh, by USB we have a female USB type A and a male USB also USB type A and we can cut the power here quite simple I hope to that will be useful also so next we have a lot of stuff to to choose from yeah Okay, this is a joke. Oh, sorry, this is just a joke because I don't smoke. But I saw this and decided to that one. I want to to have one and to try. And this is a plasma lighter. Yeah. And the idea behind this is to have fire uh, without uh, without gas it's electrical yeah it works quite well it works quite well yeah this is just a joke. Uh, yeah, just to see how it's, it's an arc lighter. I don't know if you can see it. And yeah, when we press here the power, it will start the, the lighter. You can see across there. Yeah, it does a, a, an arc. Very nice, but this is just a joke, really. Just want to see how it works. <laughs> Maybe I will do a, a review on the reviews channel, but just for fun. <sighs> okay, so this one it says it's 74 HC. This might be uh, ICs for the electronic channel. Yeah, it's a, an assortment of ICs. Let me just. And we have 30 types of different uh, normal UGS ICs. So we have the 74HC00, 10, well, a lot of them. It's a big box for. Not so many things. Let me just show you. Yeah, we have it here a lot of uh, inter integrated. Yeah, and I want to do some kind of project that I see online and need something. Uh, again, I like to have some stock because uh, locally. The electronic components are really expensive, and to to bring it from China, it, it takes a long time. So, well, this wasn't so so cheap like that. It's something. This assortment, I believe, it's something about 12, 12 euros, so fifteen dollars, something like that. Anyway. Uh, when I needed something, I will have it here. Okay, this is something. Let's see. It's a small box. Ah, okay. okay, this is from Andoair. And it seems to be quite nice. Yeah, let me show you. 
this is a bald head for well for our studio equipment my studio equipment and yeah it has this one I believe this should turn I don't know I don't know what this one does yet ah yeah this allowed to turn this turns in but it's not very easy Supposedly, this turns in 360 uh, degrees, but mm, I don't know. I have to see. I don't know if this is the case of, or is just to, to fixate the, the screw. But yeah, it's aluminium. It seems to be very nice. It's something that costs about 8 euros, 7 to 8 euros. I needed some, well, it's not the big ones. I need this for a slider and stuff like that. And it, if I buy one of the big ones, uh, it will be too big and it will unbalance the, the slider. But this is perfect. It has very nice quality. It's, you can do 45 degrees like this. It stays easy. Yeah. yeah. Very nice, yeah. I'm happy, really. Um, yeah. Okay, let's open another small one. Camera quick release. It might be for studio also. Yeah, it's just some screws for studio equipment. It has a, a quarter inch uh, hole here and it's also a quarter inch screw. You can do it like this. Yes. Yeah. I bought four. It should be two kits of two. Nothing special. Let's move on. And this is a FCM transmitter. Yeah. Let's, let's see what we have here. Okay. I think I will have to keep this to to see on the. On the other, what is this? Whoa, this has a lot of parts. I don't know what this is right now because I bought a lot of small gadgets to be assembled. It has a small uh, PCB. And this is a very small unit. Some resist the resistors. Yeah, we have here a lot of components. And a power switch, a mic. Yeah. I don't know. Really. Probably when I do the editing, I will put on the on the image what this is I will put this inside here again so I can locate it doesn't have a question mark so it was identified when it, it, it arrived okay so expansion board module let's see what we have here for the packaging Seems something electronic. Okay, so okay. this is a module, yeah. 
that um, I am for I am sure. And it comes with a Wi-Fi uh, antenna I buy a lot of stuff I know but right now I don't remember buying this ah this is the camera okay I have to be careful because this is very small look at this it's quite fragile this is the um, let me try to get this out this is the ESP cam motherboard and the ESP cam module we have here a connector for the camera it's very similar to the connector on Raspberry to connect the Raspberry cam I shouldn't be putting my hands directly on this, but yeah, well, whatever. And the camera, it's very small. Look at this. Really very small camera. We have uh, SD card, I believe for saving the image. USB power. Yeah. And this cam here so I will put again in this place so it won't get lost I will close this because otherwise it might get lost yeah nice and it brings this back with a Wi-Fi camera and also extension cable Okay, very nice. Nothing here. I have here two more, and I know those are for studio for recording. And let me start with this one. Yeah, and they both are from Lenzi. This is not sponsored. I really paid for this. And yeah, let me just take this out. If I can, just... Yeah, ouch. Brute force. Yeah. Okay, this is a small uh, uh, tripod with a ball head, also. A very nice ball head. And this one is from Lenzi. You can turn in both ways. And you have also a uh, MAX. Yeah, I hurt myself. And we have here uh, also um, a cool Schumann. And it seems quite nice also. Quarter inch. And a tripod. This is for, uh, for example, when I'm filming on the when I'm filming on the on the oscilloscope or something like that the tripods that I have this can grow a bit yeah okay it has here uh, a button to to hold it seems quite nice it was about 18 euros but the idea here is I have uh, other tri tripods, uh, small ones, cheap ones, that can, cannot handle a camera. And the idea is to have a, a low one when 
filming, for example, uh, the oscilloscope or the multimeter where the values are done here, uh, not having a, a very big oscilloscope. So the idea is to have a small one. Maybe I will buy another. Um, sorry, but it hurt me. And yeah, it seems robust. It's plastic, this one, but it's a hard plastic. It will not bend. Mm -hmm. And also from Lanzi. If this is what I think it is, let me open. This is the VL49 RGB. Uh, I already have here. Let me go get it. <coughs> oh, let me open this one. Because it's never to be. So this one, it's the RGB version. I already have um, the VL49 no, non-RGB, this one. It's, it is a very nice uh, projector to, to have on top of your camera, but this is only dimmable. And I believe it, uh, yeah, it's only dim dimmable. It doesn't even have the color temperature. But this one, it's RGB. And when I saw it, each of these uh, projectors costs about 18 euros. Uh, if you buy two, it will cost something like 32 euros. Let me see if you, if it has. Uh, it doesn't seem to have power. Oh, what if it is? Ah, <laughs> a nice touch. It has it, it has a um, magnet, so you can just leave it on a metal pla uh, metal surface, and it will be all right. And yeah, what a pity! It doesn't have battery. Uh, ah, this one has. Nice. Where do we open this? Come on, man. I don't want to wrap this. I will do a review and yeah. So this one has power. It's a projector. You have here a display. Let me show you. You have here a display that uh, says the the color. I'm seeing this uh, as you are. It's the first time. We can change the temperature. Right now it's bright. We have modes for what I am I am understanding. This is the first time I, I deal with one of these. We can increase the power. Yeah, you can see this is a lot brighter. Yeah. It gives a, a very good light. And one thing. But I believe this has the, the chance of using RGB also. Because it has color. I'm not seeing. Uh, okay, you have to, to press a bit more in here. So. Color and. 
Okay. And you can change, but it, it's a little weird, the selectors of this. It turns, but you don't know which color you will have. Yeah, right now it's green, yellow, and should be entering red. Yeah. Pink and blue. Yeah, it's not easy to, to select the color that you want. Green, blue. Okay, we are on the red button right now. And when it comes to the end, for what I'm seeing, it goes around again. So, yeah, nice protector. Let's see if the battery uh, holds along. This normally has battery. I don't, I don't know what is going on here. Anyway, I will test it. And these products normally come with a battery. Yeah, very nice product. And you can use it also as white protector. Just increase the color temperature. No, it's here. Sorry. And you can use it as a white projector also okay that's it for today uh, i hope this video uh, bring some value or gave you some value and if it did please uh, give a thumbs up if you like it if you enjoy it if you want to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and hit that bell really to be notified. You will be the first one to be notified every time we have a new video. I have a new video. And yeah, thank you for watching until the end. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.